What is going on fighters of the Shadow Fight Galaxy? I am back again with a quick short video. In today's episode, we are gonna go over the new update Nike just released. They have found a way to stop the campers from plaguing the Shadow Fight arena. That is what we're gonna have a look at in the video. Towards the end, I'm gonna give you guys what I think might be the best way to stop campers forever in Shadow Fight Arena. Been a while since I played this game, I haven't really played ever since they brought the 1 vs 1 update. I have so many stuff to claim here, so let's grab them. The good thing is that there is an event, the Spring Marathon. When I open this chest, I get some rewards. We shall see what I get. I got so many warrior chests to open. Like I said in the video, we shall check out the new update, what's going on with the camping situation. I also like how Neki has added the skip animation. In the past, you would have to skip, I mean you would have to press every single card. It was so annoying. At least now you can skip everything at once, which is great. Haven't played the game in a long, long time. Look at my rating, it's laughable. Oh, we still have one more chest here. Skip everything, no time to waste. The upgrade prices have also gone off the roof. This is crazy, man. I don't know how you people are doing it. It's so difficult to upgrade the heroes. Those who upgraded their heroes long time ago are, li are a little bit lucky. Unfortunately, I did not do that. All my heroes are stuck at level 11. I didn't really see any need to push them to level 13. All I needed was the level 10 talents. Now checking what's going on with the fight pass. I haven't bought any fight pass in a long time. We have the emperor in the building. Looking good, looking good. 70 levels of fight pass. Check out the quest missions. What's going on here? Not much. How about the store? Anything new? Any new update? UI improvements? Don't really see it. Okay, I think it's time to go and claim some of the rewards that I just got. And here we are, Spring Marathon. Will I get a weapon? What do you think? Skip, skip everything, no time to waste. Fantastic, we just got a new weapon, Blossoming Ambition. This is so exciting man, after coming back after a long time, I get a weapon, this is great. Now I'm gonna see the specifications of the weapon in a little bit. Let me claim some more rewards and see what I get. Will we get another weapon? Nope. Got some lucky chips right there, I feel like eating them, they look delicious. Okay. Let's see what's going on with this new weapon. What are the specification? Customization. And then click that red icon with the dot. The weapon looks incredible. What are the specifications? Let me see. Increases protection from shadow abilities and its alternatives. This sounds interesting. It simply means it lowers the damage you get from shadow abilities and its other alternatives like Hongju's Triumph, Monkey King Ascension. Who else has a special move here? Jet Shadow Harmony has been removed, so that won't count. Anyway, that's the weapon. Blossoming Ambition looks kinda okay. And now, let's see if I can claim some stuff here. Celebration of life. Will I get anything here? I don't have enough and I don't want to waste my gems so I'm gonna skip it. What's next? Let me check out O Fortuna, Mr. Jack Bulwark, Bastion and Cannonball. Not really gonna go for this, too much. Okay, so Neki has found a solution for the camping problem in Shadow Fight Arena. Let's check it out. Alright guys, let me go to the lobby and then pick one character for demonstration. Who am I gonna take today? I'm gonna take the incredible jet from the dynasty faction. Only level 11. I should have upgraded my characters long time ago. Now the upgrade prices is off the roof. 
Anyway, enough with the complaint, let's get back to the camper update. Training bot mode, I think I'm gonna be going with passive. I just wanna see some stuff here. Rolling forward, I don't see any change. Rolling backwards, I don't see any change. Roll forward one more time. So this is the solution to the camping problem. Nike has lowered the speed of walking backwards. In the past, campers would just walk backwards and frustrate you, block everything, wrestle you to the ground, punish you and repeat. This new system is kinda okay. Towards the end of the video, I will give you guys what I think might be a very good solution. You know, it's a dream. One day it might come true, it might not. I noticed one thing with this update, the jumping forward and the jumping back distance is different. This one right here is the maximum distance between you and the enemy. It's a good thing since it lets you escape the heavy hit of the markers, it's a good distance. However, I have noticed some mistakes with this distance. If you do the forward jump, you will get to the opponent's face. But if you jump backwards, you are not gonna cover the whole distance. And I feel like this is not gonna be enough to dodge the Hongju Triumph or the Marcus Heavy Weapon. You just saw right there Jet jumped forward right in front of this character. Now when she jumped backwards, the distance was just too small. Not enough to dodge many attacks in the game. So they might want to fix it, unless they did it intentionally. Let me know down below what you guys think. Alright guys, now let me tell you guys how I would stop camping in the Shadow Fight Arena for good. Let's pretend we were living in another planet and I was a game developer. This is how I would stop camping in Shadow Fight Arena. You guys wanna hear it? Let's go. I would give each character in the game a block breaker. I would make a block breaker combo counter and put it on the screen. Each character would have a different requirements for the block breaker because of their weapon moves. For example, Marcus has a slow weapon, therefore he would require a few amount of combos to get the block breaker. I would put the counter on the screen. Jet has fast weapon moves. She would require a lot of combos to get a block breaker. The combo counter would be on the screen. Once it fully charges, you get a guaranteed block break that you can use. This could inject some life into the game. You would plan your attacks properly. Once you have a block break, you put the pressure on the opponent and make them pay. This system will also force campers to fight because now they will try to collect combos for the block breaker. You can do so many stuff with this system. What are some of the awesome things that Nike could do with this system? They could make weapons that would lower the number of block breaks required. They could make weapons that would increase the damage when you have a block breaker. This system would force a lot of people to fight. You can collect block breaker combos through the enemy blocks. Once you get enough, you go on full rage and destroy the opponent. I would divert everything back to the way it was, like remove this slow walking back, it just makes the game look nasty, it doesn't look that great. But if you have something like a block breaker combo, a block breaker combo counter on the screen, you collect enough combos and then you crush the opponent. You can also design a lot of weapons with different moves to increase the combo damage, this is gonna stop camping for good. What do you guys think? This is just my solution if I was living in a different planet. But you know, sometimes we can just dream. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe. Until then, talk to you in the next one. Peace out.